Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button, and then of course hitting that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. As the title of this video suggests, this is the Winter Stitch Mystery Crochet Along for the squares. So, there are two parts to this Winter Stitch Mystery Crochet Along. There is a squares part and there is a blanket part. The squares part will consist of two stitches based on the spinning of this particular wheel. We will gather the stitches and then I will do tutorials for those stitches on the fly. This cow will run six weeks long, starting today and running until February the 19th. With the particular stitches, like I mentioned, we're going to create squares. These squares are going to be 10 inches square, and then we are going to place a border around the squares so that it's easier to join. I do highly recommend that you decide on a border color so that all of your squares have the same border. It's just going to make the whole entire project flow together. Okay, so with that being said, my friends, I'm going to place you guys on a brief pause, remove the camera and move you guys over to the wheel, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, friends, so here we are at the wheel. So I'm just going to go over the stitches and the symbols with you and we'll go from there and get started. Okay, so this uh, particular stitch right here is the pike stitch. It involves the extended single crochet. This right here is the alpine stitch. This here is the star stitch. And this one here is the waffle stitch. This is the front post double crochet stitch. And this is the cobblestone stitch. And so this dot here basically means spin again until you land on another stitch. So this isn't a stitch, it's a spin again portion of the wheel. This one here is the half double V stitch. And this is the double V stitch. And this is called a linked shell stitch. This one here is the iris stitch. And so this one here is a half double crochet in the back loop. And this one here is a double crochet in the back loop. And then we have another dot, which is spin again. So there are all of the stitches and all the things, my friends. And so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and spin for our first stitch. I'm a little nervous because there are some stitches on here that I do not want to do. <laughs> As I'm sure most of you watching <laughs> feel the same way, but that's part of the fun, right? So let's go ahead and spin for our first stitch. So we're on the dot, it's fair game, and we'll go from here, okay? Here you go. Okay, so... This is the front post double crochet. Front post and double crochet. Okay, we can make that work. It's gonna look good on both sides. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and spin for the second stitch. This is the iris stitch. Okay, iris stitch. Okay, my friends, so there it is. We have both of our stitches, and um, let me put you guys back into presentation mode, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, friends, so here we are. We have our two stitches. Super excited. Front post double crochet and the iris stitch. So we have a choice here. We can do two and two, two front post double crochet squares, two iris stitch squares, you can do all four of the iris stitch squares. It's completely up to you, but I'm going to be giving tutorials for both of these particular stitches. Um, so for now, for the tutorial, I'm just gonna do one and one, okay? So without further ado, I'm gonna put you guys into tutorial mode and then let's get this started, okay? I'll see you on the other side. Okay, friends, so for this crochet along, I'm going to be using a medium four weight yarn 
and I will be using a six millimeter crochet hook, uh, otherwise known as US letter J, okay? So this first square that we're gonna work on is going to be the front post double crochet square. Now, every stitch will not be a front post double crochet, okay? What'll happen is, is we'll do double crochets and then we'll do a repetition of front post double crochets, okay? So to get started, to get a 10 inch measurement, what we're gonna to need to do with a medium four weight yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook is chain 34. So you start with a slip knot, however you do that is fine, just like that, and then you're going to chain 34. Okay, so once you have 34, for the foundation row, you're going to chain another two, and then we're going to do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook, which is right here. And this foundation row will be all double crochets for the entire row. Okay, just like this. And for those of you guys who are not familiar with the double crochet, it's a yarn over, go in the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, and go through two. Okay? If you need to, hit the gear button and slow me down so you can see everything in slow motion. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and push forward all double crochets in the foundation row, okay? For a total of 34 double crochets. Okay, friends, so I just finished row one, 34 double crochets. Okay, to start row two, what we need to do is chain one, turn our work, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four double crochets, and then on the fifth stitch, we're gonna do the front post double crochet. Okay, so let's start here in the very first stitch of the row. That chain doesn't count towards anything. So we're gonna go here, do a double crochet. So that's one, that's two, this is three, and that's four. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet in the fifth stitch. Just like that. And then we're going to do four more regular double crochets, and this is the repeat. One, two, three, four, and then a front post double crochet in the fifth stitch there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And then in the fifth one, a front post double crochet. So continue doing that, and I shall see you at the end of row two. Okay, friends, so I just finished row two. And at the end of row two, you should have ended with four double crochets right uh, after that front post. Okay? So to do row three, you're literally just going to turn your work after chaining one. So chain one, turn your work double crochet in the very first four stitches and then in that fifth stitch where we did the front post on this side we're going to go ahead and take it from that side and do a front post on this side so let's go ahead and do double crochet in the first four stitches of the row just like that and then it's kind of recessed because it's sticking out on this side so we're going to yarn over go in and around. We're going to grab it and we're going to go ahead and do a regular double crochet. Then we're going to do four more double crochets. Three and four. And then here we are at the front post from this side. We're going to yarn over, go down and around. And do a double crochet just like that and that's the repeat for row three okay
So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of row three. Okay, friends, so I just finished row three here. You should have ended right here in the last stitch. Four double crochets, the front post right there. And the repeat for this particular square, my friends, is literally going to be chain one, four double crochets, a front post, and just go back and forth, back and forth and back and forth. So this row here is just going to alternate. So for, for row four, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're gonna do four double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet, just like that. And then four more double crochets. So once we have four, then we're gonna do a front post. So that's literally it, my friends. It's very simple. Continue doing this, going back and forth. And once I get further along, I will tell you how many rows we're going to need to achieve 10 inches, okay? So continue doing this and I shall see you in a moment. Okay, friends, so here we are. We have exactly 10 inches by 10 inches it's perfectly square we have 34 stitches across and we have 21 rows going down it's 21 rows okay and if you fold it it's perfect perfectly square okay so to finish off the square what we need to do is chain two and then we're gonna cut a tail, pull the hook away from the work, pinch and slide, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna take our darning needle, we're gonna sew in our end, just like that. And then I try to go inside the stitches and pick up fibers along the way just to make sure that it holds and it doesn't come out. And then I go like this. Go back for return pass. And then one final run through there. And um, let me place you guys on a brief pause. I'm going to go get my border color. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so for the border color, I decided to go with charcoal. And the reason why is because it doesn't show well, um, black doesn't show well. Normally, I would have gone with black, but it doesn't show well for tutorials. So charcoal is kind of the darkest color I can go with so that you guys can see all the stitches and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and join the charcoal. And so what we want to do is, first we need to realize there are 34 stitches going this way and 21 rows going this way. So what we need to do is literally space it as best as we can to get 34 stitches here. We want to make sure that it's even all the way around, okay? So let's go ahead and create a slip knot on our hook. However you do that is fine, so long as the end result is this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my crochet hook right there in the corner. I'm gonna draw up a loop and go through both just like that, okay? 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in there oops, and do a single crochet. And I'm going to do a single crochet all the way down here. Um, and I'm going to evenly space them out. It's, a, it's square, so as long as we evenly space them out, it should be fine. You should come up at 34. Just like that. Okay. Is it going to look perfect? No, but that's not the point. The point is, is we want to make sure that we have 34 going across this way and 34 going this way. So let me place you on a brief pause and I'll see you at the end of the row. Just make sure you're evenly spacing single crochets all the way down. Okay, so I got 34. As long as you don't crunch them too close together and you don't space them too far apart, you're fine. Okay? This is what the back looks like. That's what the front looks like. And so for the corner, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and go back into the stitch just like that and we're going to single crochet in every stitch of the row here we already know that's going to be 34 so we're fine there okay so continue doing that and I'll see you at this corner here Okay, friends, so here we are at the corner, and like this corner here, we're going to go ahead and chain two, and we're going to go back into that corner, just like that. Okay, and like this side here, we're just going to evenly space single crochets, and just count to yourself along the way, knowing that by the time you get here, you need to be at 34, okay? And again, just take the size of the stitch into consideration. So you don't want to go too close and you don't want to go too far. So the next, next logical place to put in your single crochet would be right here. And then right here. And you just want to continue doing that all the way up and just count along the way, okay? And I'll see you at the end of this row here. Okay, friends, so here I am. I have 34 stitches, okay? And then we're going to chain two, and then we're gonna go back into that corner space. And single crochet. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to insert a single crochet underneath every double crochet that you see there, because this was the, the, the chain. So we're going to just go right into there single crochet right into there single crochet just like that and you will wind up with 34 at the end so continue doing that going underneath every double and giving it a single crochet just like that and i'll see you at the end of the row okay friends so here i am at the end 34 we're going to chain two and we're going to attach to the first single of the row slip to close chain two and we're going to go ahead and cut a tail pull away secure that double knot and sew in our tail so this piece right here that we used to join on, I just trim just like that. Okay, we're going to go over. And again, you don't have to do the border if you don't want to. I'm just doing it because when I sew the borders together, they have a like color running against each other. So I'm just going to sew in this end very quickly. And obviously I'm not adding any extra rows right now 
because I don't have all my squares done. So we're doing this on the fly. So for now, we have a border on the square, just like this. So let me back the camera up. There we go. Okay. So this is our very first square. Okay. There's some texture there. Very nice. I like it. It's a great beginning. And, and again, you don't have to use all solid colors. If you're using your scraps and you only have a little ball and you need to change colors, go for it. The purpose of this was to, you know, use up your scraps. So, okay. So let me place you on a brief pause and we'll go on to the second square. Okay, friends, so here we are. We're going to start the second square, which is the iris stitch. I have my new color here. And what we're going to do for the iris stitch square is we're going to chain 34. So create a slip knot. However you do that is fine, as long as you end up here. And you're, you're going to chain 34, okay? Four, five, six. So continue doing that, and I shall see you at the end of this, which you should end with 34 chains, okay? Okay, friends, so here I have 34 chains, okay? So we're going to create a foundation row, and we're going to do single crochets. So we're going to chain one more, and then we're going to go into the second chain from the hook, all right? So... It's going to go single crochets in every stitch of the row, just like that. And you're going to have 34 single crochets, okay? Just like that. Continue doing that, and I shall see you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of our foundation row where we have 34 single crochets. So to start round two, what we need to do is chain one and turn our work. And we're going to put a double crochet in that very first stitch right there. Okay? Double crochet. Just like that. Okay, and that chain one doesn't count towards anything. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to skip a stitch we're going to skip and then go into this next one here with a double crochet and then we're going to place another double crochet in that same stitch we're going to chain one and then go back into that same stitch with two more double crochets okay now what we're going to do is we're going to skip three and put a double crochet in the fourth stitch there. Okay, so skip, 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 and then double crochet. Let's do another double crochet. Chain one, and then two more double crochets. So that is your iris stitch. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way down. So we're gonna skip three, skip, 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 and then do a double crochet in the fourth one. Do another double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, and then two more double crochets. One and two. Skip three, do a double crochet in the fourth one. One and two, so two double crochets, chain one, and then two double crochets. Okay, you're gonna repeat that all the way down the row and I'll see you at the end of the row. Okay friends, so here we are at the end of the row. Okay, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of these stitches here, okay? And then you should have three remaining stitches, one, two, and three. So from here, what we need to do is just go into the very last one. We're gonna skip these two. 
skip, skip, and then here we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over, go into that stitch, making sure that you grab both sides, drop a loop, and do a double crochet just like that. Okay? So from here what we need to do is just chain one, turn the work, and then we're going to do a double crochet in that very first stitch right there. Just like that. And from here what we're going to do is go into the chain space and we're going to repeat this. It's two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. One, two, chain one, and then two double crochets. Just like that. And then we're going to go right into this next set here. Into the chain space. Two double crochets. Chain one. Two double crochets. Just like that. Let's go again right into the chain space. Two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Okay, continue doing that, and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of the row here. This is kind of what it's looking like. Okay, and so what we're going to have to do is go into the very first stitch of the round, which is right here and do a double crochet in the very first stitch of the row, just like that. We're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're literally just going to repeat this all the way down, back and forth going up. So it starts with, you know, chain one, turn our work, and then double crochet in the first stitch. And then going into these chain spaces and doing two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets, just like that. So I'm going to do several more rows. Actually, I'm going to continue doing this back and forth until I get to my 10 inches going this way. So just sit tight and I'll be back in just a few seconds with 10 inches by 10 inches, okay? Okay, friends, so here I am. We are 10 inches by 10 inches square. And so we have 34, 34 stitches across. But as far as the actual iris stitch, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight across and then we have one double crochet one double crochet so there's that and then going long ways here we back the camera up so we can do that okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and it measures ten inches 10 inches perfectly okay so there you have it and then to tie off you just chain twice we're gonna take scissors snip pull away pinch and pull down just like that we're gonna take our darning needle wrap around just like that insert the yarn through the eye of the needle and weave in our ends here just make sure that you grab fibers that will actually help hold the yarn there we go go one more time just like that and snip step off and there you have it okay so let me go ahead and get our border color 
and get the border started here. One second. Okay, so I have the gray here. Let me just move this over here. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a slip knot on our crochet hook, just like this. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go into any corner. Let's just pick this one. And what we want to do here, let me zoom in. Okay, so what we want to do here is all sides should have 34, okay? Because our foundation had 34, it's square, so we need 34, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go into the very last stitch of that particular row draw up a loop and slip to close, just like that. Chain one, and then go back into that stitch and do a single crochet. And you just wanna evenly space your single crochets along the row here. The result or the end goal needs to be 34 single crochets. Just like that. Okay, just continue doing that. And I'll see you at the end of the row with 34 single crochets. Okay, friends, so I have 34 stitches. Just going into all the open spaces there. Don't force your hook into any, op you know, any spot that it won't go in. Um, and if you just go into the available open spaces, my friends, you will wind up with the stitches that you need. And if you notice, there's some sort of pattern going on here. Okay? The pattern really is just go into the open spaces and you'll have 34. And if not, just frog back until you get 34 going across. Okay? So here I am at the end of that particular side. We're going to chain two and go back into that corner space with a single crochet. And then what we're gonna do is, this I believe is the side with the foundation uh, single crochets and everything. So we're literally just gonna go into each space where there was a single crochet. Insert your hook right underneath there and just do a single crochet in every available space. You know, evenly spacing them out, just like that. And you're looking for a total of 34 stitches. And so long as you do this evenly, like I'm doing right here, you will have 34 at the end of the row here for the side. There's really no rhyme or reason. You know, we're creating... We're creating this to make it easier to attach the squares. And if I'm being honest, when I put this border on this one here, I went ahead and looked back at it and said to myself, well, maybe we can do more than just one row. But for now, we're just doing one row um, to put a border on. And I feel the same way about this. Let's just get one row on the square and then once we have a few squares we can decide if it's even necessary to put multiple rows on every square because again the purpose of this here is just so that there's a uniform join and we just want to make sure that everything is is kosher and good so continue doing that Look how nice that looks. Continue doing that, and I'll meet you in the corner here. Okay, friends, so I verified my count here. There's 34. And so what we want to do here is chain two and go back into that corner stitch that we just came out of with a single crochet. 
And then in the available open spaces, you want to go ahead and put your single crochets. Just don't force the hook into a spot that it doesn't go in. So like, don't go into any of this. Go here. Just loop it around and do a single crochet just like that. And see that next available space? Just go in there. Just go where you feel the, the hook is meant to go. And you will wind up with the appropriate amount of stitches. And if not, frog it back. Add what you need to add, but don't force your hook in between any stitches. Just go where there is an available spot to put your hook, if that makes any sense. Just like that, okay? So continue doing that, and I'll see you at the end of the side here, okay? Okay, friends, so I finished this side here. I made sure to not go into any unwanted spaces, okay? So to move on here, what we need to do is chain two and go back into the place where we placed the last single crochet. We're going to do a single crochet right there. And so now what we need to do is only go into the stitches that have double crochets. So you're going to put single crochets in all of your double crochets here. So no um, single crochets in the chain spaces. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and go in here, single crochet, in here, single crochet. That's a chain space. So we're going to skip that, go right into the next double crochet. And that's literally it for this round or this side here. Okay. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the other end of this side. Okay, so here we are back at the beginning. I have one here and we have the very first one here. So to connect them, we're just going to chain two and we're going to insert our hook into the very first single crochet of the round, draw up a loop and slip to close, chain two, cut a tail, pull the hook away from the work, slide down to create that double knot like that. And we're gonna go ahead and sew in our end very quickly. Yarn over the eye of the needle, go in, and let's turn it over. Go back. And one final pass. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. This, my friends is the Irish, Iris stitch square, sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit of a tongue twist, twister there. So yeah, let me go ahead and pull that back up. Yeah, that looks amazing. I love that. Okay, so there's that. I believe it goes that way, but it doesn't matter, it's square. And then we have this one. The front post double crochet. So this here, my friends, is week one. You have the choice. You can do all four squares like this, all four squares like this, or do two and two, or one and three, however you want to do it. Okay? The choice is completely up to you. Okay? So that's all I have, friends, for week one of this cow for the squares. If you enjoyed this, like I said in the beginning, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and then of course hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything regarding me and my channel. So until the next one, guys, take care. Bye-bye.